Comment. Wake up. Hello. Oh God, he's falling asleep. Looks like he's having some type of dream. Oi, Amo, get up. What? You've been sleeping, man. Man, I saw them late nights editing. It's catching up with me. What have you been dreaming about? Well, I've been sleep talking. <laughs> no, you just looked like you were deep in some kind of deep sleep. I uh, know, I just had some weird thought. I uh, know, it sounded bloody hilarious in my head. A motocross bike. Right. Um, I was on my motocross bike, my KX, and I'm jumping over a train. And the train was like some old school um, steam engine train. That's weird. I don't know, maybe I was evil Knievel at some point. Maybe in a past life. Yeah. I really need to chill out on all this editing, don't I? Alright. Either that, or we need to get some form of train or some form of bike. Maybe that's what the universe is telling you. What time is it? Uh, I don't actually know. Oh, my battery's low on my watch. No way, it's nine o'clock. I tell you what, let's make a video and let's go pay a trip to something, somewhere where they sell, I don't know, trains or motorbikes or something, and let's go buy a new purchase. What do you think? So we're gonna buy something based on you having a dream? Dreams become reality. Mm, that's, that's true sometimes. This was a dream. It's become a reality. <laughs> right, guys, welcome back to the RC store. And my name's Ammo. <laughs> should do something like that, shouldn't we, on the next intro? Maybe. Right, you know what? Come on. I've slept for too long. Let, let's, let's get this show on the road. Let's go see if we can hunt somewhere. Hi guys, we're here at Mount's Models over in Ilkston. We've come here to pick something quite special up, which is quite limited. However, we're gonna check out this huge store and check out their range and let's see what they have on offer. And they might have something for you guys as well. Let's go in and check these guys out. Oh my wow. God. This is like being a kid in a candy store. This place is huge. It goes back forever, look. <laughs> we have loads of stock here on display from all your models, from what I can see, die cast models. There's kits to be painted. You can see all the RC equipment here. They stock armor. You've got your Tamiya range. Wall to wall stock. Absolutely packed. They've got your entry level toys for young kids over at the bottom perfect for anyone getting into RC's the range is huge so what we'll do guys is I think what we should do we'll start here and we'll take a walk around the store and see what items they have to offer
Guys, this is a family run business. As you've seen, the stock range here is absolutely massive. I'm joined here by Brett and his father, Malk. Guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you. Your range here is absolutely massive. How long have you guys been going for? 19 years we've been going. It'll be 20 years next year. This wow. is the fifth shop we've been in. Wow, I'm guessing, Malk, you started it off? Yeah, July 2004. Wow. wow, that's some years, guys. Yeah. I'm guessing it was a hobby before you took it on as a shop, or it was an hobby, but we was also at one of the preservation societies, which was at Ruddington. Right. So we started the model railway up there. <laughs> right. And we were buying uh, items in, okay, to sell, and the profit went for the model railway. Oh wow! So one of our competitors. Uh, complained yeah and the rep at that time who is unfortunately now died said that if we brought a shop then we'd shut the other people up which we did <laughs> oh, fair play to you <laughs> one day i was coming golfing and on my way up nottingham road which was the first shop there was a shop there where a big sided rent this shop for 75 pound a week so wow. little gray cells thought if I can get that for £50 a week, we'll go for it. <laughs> At that time, because I worked in a recycling company, uh, I approached two of my friends, uh, went for a drink, <laughs> we broke off the road, <laughs> and of course they said, what you're up to? I said, I'm looking at renting that shop and opening the model railway. Straight away, they were rubbing their hands together. I offered to pay them X amount of pounds, and they said no, we don't want paying, and it just grew from there. Wow, oh, fair play. brilliant! What a story! Wow, guys, you heard it from the man himself. This place is absolutely amazing. It's come from soul and passion, and it's developed to this huge shop with a huge warehouse at the back. And like I said, they specialize in model railways and plastic kits, however, the RC range is growing and growing, growing. They do stock, like I said at the start of the video, your armors, your Tamiyas, and so forth. But that range is getting bigger and bigger over time. They are online. I'll put a link to the website down below. Also, it'll be in the description. So be sure to check that out. Guys, we're joined here with Brett on their new um, line, which is Ninko. Ninko has been going for a fair few years. However, this is entry level RC. So instead of your children going out to argument's sake, toy shops and buying RCs where you can't get spare parts etc from. If you have a look at this range, this is perfect for kids, especially with Christmas coming. Um, they stock so many different varieties. And Brett, let us know a bit about the company. Uh, Ninko have been going for many years. It's a well-known brand. Uh, it left the market for a bit, but it's come back to the market now. So uh, new companies took it over, distributed it. So we uh, managed to get it back on the shelves. Wicked. And you want us to actually test one of these and see what they're like? Yes, yeah, one of the uh, Yokos. <laughs> Fitted with LED lights underneath, drift cars. Nice. $32.99 like. for a kid. I don't think you could go wrong. No way. I'd have loved one of those at Christmas. <laughs> Guys, we're going to demonstrate this, demonstrate this particular vehicle. And I'll put a link down below where you can pick this up from and see what you think. Maybe yourself, maybe the kids might want this. Um, for the money, thirty two ninety nine here in the UK, it's an absolute steal, I think. Right, guys, so the time has come to show you guys what we are purchasing from here. Now, these are very limited at the minute, and Brett here has managed to secure us one. Um, I believe there was only 20 that came into the UK. Guys, the lossy Promoto. Yes, been waiting for this. For a while. You know what, Brett? I want to say thank you so much for securing this for us. No really worries. appreciate it. Guys, if you want to get one of these, check out their website. Like I said, it's in the description below, and you can pick yourselves up one of these little bad boys. And by the way, it's the only place in the UK that I've got them in stock. <laughs> All right, let's pay for this. So, guys, we just got back from Milk's Models. As you guys seen, the chaps were super friendly. We met the main man himself, which was Malk, as you see, and his son, Brett. They looked after us um, on this lossy, guys. Um, it sold out absolutely 
everywhere, not just in the UK, but worldwide. I don't know why, but the shipping on this, they only had 20 come into the UK. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. So everyone is on pre-order. So if you're looking for one, you probably won't get one, it's on pre-order. However, these guys had them in stock and they were kind enough, allowed us to purchase it off them and we got this. But before we go into the unboxing on this, I just want to take a second to show you guys a Christmas special. So for everyone that's got kids out there and you're thinking of buying your child an RC car, but you don't want to go to your local high street shop and just buy a toy, this particular brand, Ninko, uh, Ninko and it's the racers model, um, you can actually get spares for these. So it's a perfect way to bring a youngster into the model scene. Now, I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate this for you. So what I'm gonna do is unbox this very quickly, show you the model itself, and we'll go quickly into a couple of clips of this little 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 car uh, running. Um, apparently it drifts, it's two wheel drive, it's got neon lights underneath, a bit like Fast and Furious. Um, and it's a smart looking car. It looks like a Nissan R35 GTR. And they've got these on offer um, at $32.99. Guys, out in the shops, what can you physically buy nowadays for $32.99? You probably buy something cheap and cheerful. Like I said, this particular car, it's a 118th scale and you can get all the replacement parts from it. The suppliers are hobby grade suppliers. However, this is aimed at youngsters uh, and uh, basically your youth out there. So guys, without ado, uh, without further ado, let's unbox this and have a quick look at this and a quick running session before we get into unboxing this beast. So on the packaging itself, it basically just states everything the vehicle is. It's got a 2.4 gigahertz controller. It's a 118 scale RC. It's got underglow neon LED lights, as you can see. It's a two wheel drive drift car. They're available in multiple different colors. I believe you can get an orange and black and this is the green and black version. Let's pop this out. And like I said, it would make a perfect Christmas present for, for someone young out there um, that's probably not had their first RC. So it's ideal in that respect. Someone at the age of six, seven years old, as you guys probably know, I've got a daughter who's six years old. She would absolutely love this. Um, you've got, like I said, it's not nothing special, but you've got obviously your controls forward, backwards, left and right, and you've got your on and off switch. So very, very basic um, and perfect for a young child. Comes with an instruction manual. Um, they do have a website. Those of you that ain't heard of Ninco, they have got a website which is www.ninco.com for those of you who want to know. We will put a link in the description um, for Malx models where you can purchase this from. You can actually go into store and purchase it or you can purchase it online as well. Um, and I'll, once again, I'll put the description, uh, put the link in the description for this as well. Let's quickly open this up for you guys. Okay, so the car itself, it's literally, uh, how can I put it, like a replica of a hobby grade car. So it's got a polycarbonate, Shell on there, uh, or should I say Lexan, quite flexible. Uh, underneath, it takes four AA batteries, no steering servos, etc. It's all on motors, and like your old cars, you can adjust the steering trim there. The tires are extremely skinny, but I believe there's a reason for that because this thing apparently drifts, and it's got underglow neon lights on each side. And it's actually got some sort of clips, I believe. Let's see if I can pop these open. The shell itself is really cool. It has got suspension um, just on the front, not on the rear. I'm guessing that's down to the way it's been designed so it can drift. And 
and it has got clips you probably won't see them but tiny little clips to hold the shell on how cool is that that's the shell literally like a, a mini hobby grade rc yeah that's pretty cool that is um the car itself is sealed and it's got a huge huge v12 engine under there <laughs> Um, where your driver's cockpit's supposed to be or something like that or like a Back to the Future something like from the Back to the Future <laughs> Flux capacitor That's it, that's the word I was looking for and it's got an engine there some fake suspension looking thing uh, so they try to detail it there's no rear suspension um, there's a little bit of movement on the front um, but yeah guys, without further ado Let's go into a quick clip of how this little mini beast runs. So guys, you've seen this little beast in action. Um, if you want to pick one up, you know where you can get it from. Malx Models, the link's in the description. I'm sure it'll make a little one happy for Christmas. Right guys, the bit that you've all been waiting for. <laughs> I'm ever so sorry about the long video. Uh, my apologies, but it was worth it. As you guys see, Malx Models have got absolutely everything. Now, they were a specialist in model railway, as you've seen. The range in there for model railway is untouchable. They've got absolutely everything from all your little pieces of grass, even grass argument's sake. They had about 50 different shades of grass. <laughs> <laughs> They're going onto your trees, people, you name it, they had it. They had water in bottles that was colored. Guys, you can literally make your own little land and a little theme park if you wanted with all the items they got on there. Check out their website. They've also got fair ride stuff. So if you're into model railways um, and you've got the space to build something, perfect place to go. And the prices are very competitive as well. Now, on terms of their range, guys, they've got absolutely everything from model railways to aircraft. So they do aeroplanes. Um, I believe they do helicopters. They do speed boats, so radio control speed boats. They do your plastic painting models as well, like the Tamiya kits that you build and paint. The paint selection is unreal, so they do all your PS paint um, and so forth as well. They did all the airbrush painting as well. Furthermore, they've got a huge range of Tamiyas. Um, they're very popular, to be fair, there. And they sell no end of Tamiya kits. So your Tamiya RC cars, they've got plenty of them. And yeah, like for example, like the BBX, etc., all in stock and in, in range there. They've also got your armors. So on the armor side, they had absolutely pretty much everything in stock as well. 
um, as you've seen on the video. Guys, I can't say enough. A huge shop, a huge range. You've seen it yourself. Without further ado, guys, let's unbox this lossy Pro Moto. So, looking at the box itself, the front print is absolutely amazing on this. Um, you don't realize how big this actual box is for a motorbike. It's actually, I believe it's a licensed vehicle uh, by Dunlop. Um, if you have a look at the back there, it shows you all the in-depth specifications on the vehicle itself. If you want to read everything, um, basically just pause the video here and have a quick look through if you wish. Um, otherwise, I'll carry on moving on. And that's the side there. Let's get this open. So this is the ready to run uh, version. So this actually comes with a charger and battery. There is other specifications for this vehicle. Um, I believe there's a red one and a blue one, but they don't come with a battery or charger. Um, there are loads of spares available for these. So you can get like the Supermoto tires, if you wish. Um, and you can put them on. You can put different wheels on, uh, upgrade suspension, aluminium rear swing arms. There's so much you can do with these. Um, and I think Lossy sort of didn't realize how many of these that they were going to sell. All right, let's open this. Even the little rider on the top looks really cool. It's got all the Fox outfit on. All right, I'm going to pop this to a side. So first thing first, what you get in here is this pack. Um, in this pack itself, you've got your instruction manuals and a few bits and bobs. I'll go through that properly with you, um, as we normally do. Right, loads of protection. Wow, guys, I'm just gonna tilt this box over for you guys, just to show you how it comes. It looks like he's in a body bag. <laughs> right, I'm going to get all this out onto the desk. Um, so I'll unpack everything. So you've got a black box there. You've got a little white box. And you've got a transmitter. Tools. Right guys, give me a second whilst I unwrap this and place it all out on the table for you guys. Guys, I'm excited. This thing looks unreal. Um, and when I mean unreal, guys, honest to God, this looks unreal. Um, the video won't do this justice. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by going through absolutely everything that you get with this. So in this pack here, um, you get your quick start guide. You get a welcome sticker from Lossy. You get a, a keychain sort of card which says Promoto MX on it. And it's got a couple of QR codes on the back. Now the QR codes are for support and upgrades. So that's quite handy. If you want to know where you can get upgrades from, I guess you just scan that QR code. Um, it's got another sticker here on this sticker, which says Promoto on it, um, another QR code. So I'm guessing you can put this in your toolbox and if you obviously need spares, once again, scan the QR code and it takes you over to spares. So I'm guessing they're going to support spares on this heavily. Um, we've already seen spares are available and I think they're going to push this really big, to be fair. A quick start guide. So the quick start guide, basically, when you open up, so there's the three colours you can get. As you can see, green, red and blue. So the quick start guide 
basically tells you how to connect your battery, transmitter batteries, um, it'll also tell you how to go forwards, left, right, and what you should be practicing um, with the vehicle itself. Quite detailed pictures. And then on the back, it will tell you about your driving modes and how to adjust your leaning positions, which is just there. So guys, um, I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you haven't used one of these before. I think it's quite important to read this. It's not like an RC car. And a lot of people out there that have basically used these, um, a lot of other YouTubers arguments say they've gone out and ran them, but they have not read the instructions. I completely get it. If you're into RCs, you think you know it all, or you may know it all or whatever. This is a complete fresh bit of kit, new to the market. This technology has not been out before. Um, so it's worth reading the instructions. So when you go out there, you get the best out of this. So here, you've got a, another document here which shows you all your optional parts. So as you can see, you can get different fenders and plastic kits ranging from red, orange, yellow, green, and blue, different hubs, um, uh, sprocket holders, disc brakes, um, your sprockets, and this particular part interested me, um, part X, which is a rear swing arm. Um, I'll go through the swing arm on, on the actual bike itself, but you can get aluminum swing, bar, uh, swing arms. Also on the rear, You've got um, hold shop tyres that are available. You can also get your Supermoto tyres. So if you're running it on tarmac or concrete, they're advisable. Uh, also on here, you can get different outfits. They've only showed the black outfit for this little chap. We'll call him Umman, um, sitting on the bike. Um, but yeah, there's, there's loads of different ranges and colours available. It also shows um, the optional extra, um, optional battery if you wanted a 100C battery the Spectrum Charger, and if you wanted to upgrade the controller to a DX5C, you can do that as well. So they're optional extra parts. There are some few carbon parts available as well. So that gives you guys an indication of what Lossy have already got ready for this vehicle. Um, I'm sure there'll be aftermarket companies out there that are gonna jump on this and think, you know what, we can provide this for this. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they will. The manuals are absolutely thick and heavy. <laughs> I don't think I've come across an RC with manuals this big or this thick. Uh, maybe the Raminator. But inside, it tells you all your box contents, that what should be there. Um, everything on the bike. So if you're not familiar with bikes, it tells you what a shock absorber is, a chain is, and so forth. Um, I'm just going through this really quickly, guys. Because I know this has been a long video. Um, however, I want to try and detail it as much as possible. Chain lube. How to lube the chain. Once again, guys, treat it as a bike. It's got moving mechanical parts on there, like chains, etc. They need to be greased and oiled. Just how you would do on, a, on an RC. So things that need servicing. Battery connectors. It just basically shows you how to run the whole bike. In the back, there is a list of parts um, that you can buy for it or parts that you break. So I'll give it tires, it'll give you the item numbers and codes for them. I'm um, just gonna have a look if there's any exploded diagrams, um, which would be handy. Um, yes, there is. Oh, amazing. So in the back of the manual, you've got exploded diagrams. So if there's certain parts that you actually need, you got an exploded diagram for reference with part numbers. And there's an exploded one of the bike itself. And then you've also got, right, this, you probably won't get this on camera, but this is a white decal sheet. And on this white decal sheet, it's got numbers cut out. Um, they go from zero to nine, and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you've got nine rows of numbers from zero to nine. 
and I'm guessing if you want to customize this bike, if you want to put your own numbers on it, I guess, I guess you can select them from there, which is a nice touch. And to do that, Lossy provides you with these. So these basically go down your side bud guards, which are here. You've got the front one that sits up here and you've got a rear one as well. Now with these, you obviously place these on and where it says number one, you'd use this sheet and pick your number. Say argument, say your number was 21. You'd basically put that sticker on there and then you'd put 21 uh, just to personalize it. So I think that's quite sweet as a little personal touch. Here we have got a bottle here of 20cc chain lube. So this comes provided in the kit. So you use this to lubricate your chain with. I'd probably advise on your first run before you take it out, lube your chain. <laughs> Nothing better than a bit of lube, eh? <laughs> 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 right here we've got some further parts i don't know what these are i'm going to be completely honest with you they look like there's some sort of brackets um and there's a block in there of some sort i'm going to be completely honest guys i don't know what this is um i'll have to look into it it's completely new territory for me uh and one I guess we're both on the same level now, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, you got a toolkit, and in the toolkit you get a six mil spanner, nine mil spanner, times two, and it also comes with two nails. So I don't know who you're attacking and pinning to walls, but yeah, you've got two long ass nails, and um, you've got some other plastic bits here uh, with a, um, I believe it's a a hex key of some sort but they're plastic i'm not sure what they're for but once again like i said we'll, we'll obviously go through the manuals and look at them four double a batteries which is nice that they include them right this is a bike stand so what this is actually used for is to basically place on the floor and you'd place your bike in there. I'll demonstrate it for you in a second. You put your bike in there and this will be your takeoff point, basically. So don't get me wrong, you've probably seen people literally just getting up and going. But this was made so the bike sits in there, it's sitting straight and off you go. So that's what that is, but I'll demonstrate for you in a second. They actually give you a half decent controller. So you, it comes with a Spectrum DX3, which is a nice touch to be fair. Um, there's We've had vehicles out there that don't even come with anything half as good as this for the same sort of money. So that's a nice touch lossy. Um, nice foam grip on here. And to customize this, they've actually put a bike spoke wheel on there, which is a, a nice little touch. Um, foam grip. You guys are probably familiar with the DX3. Um, the trigger feels nice, responsive. You got your A and B buttons. Now on this particular vehicle, the A and B buttons allow you to adjust modes. Now this Spectrum DX3 has been customized for this vehicle. It's not like your normal DX3. So here you got your front brake trim. You got your steering sub trim. You got your uh, front brake travel. And you've also got your, um, what's this say? MS6X rate. So I'm guessing that might be your power rate of how it does wheelies, etc. cetera. Um, you've got your 50, 75 and 100 throttle there. You've got your flywheel, whether you want that on or off. So that supports the bike. And your steering, neutral or reverse. I'm literally just gonna zoom into this for you guys. So you can actually see how they've modified this and also the binding button, not to forget. So if you look at a normal DX3, this is labeled completely different. So you've got that there. It 
comes with a charger. I'm going to open this charger up. So this is quite new to Spectrum. They've started doing these little chargers that basically take a USB-C. So your USB-C goes in there. This is an S120, I believe, or is it a 5120? I think it's an S120 charger by Spectrum. Quite small. And this can charge, I believe it can charge up to a 3S battery as well. So you've got your balance port, and I believe this is an EC5 or EC3 connector. EC, IC3, sorry, connector there. So that's quite neat to have. So it comes with the charger. A lot of people that are probably buying this bike have already got their own charger, to be fair. And if you have, and you want to supply your own battery, then you probably won't need this one. <clears throat> it comes with a flat USB lead, which has a USB to a USB-C. And I'm guessing you just use a USB socket to charge it. Unfortunately, a bit like mobile phones nowadays, you don't get the actual plug to charge it with. Battery. So it comes with a supplied battery. Like I said, you can buy the other version, which is slightly cheaper, but it doesn't come with a battery. So the battery's got its instructions and warnings, etc. You have got a um, conversion kit from an IC5 to an IC3 that comes in there with an intelligent lead. So that's quite nifty to have, to be fair, because normally you've got to go out and buy these. Um, so that's quite handy. And you've got your battery itself. So the battery itself is a 2S LiPo. It's a 50C and it's a hard case battery. And it comes with an IC5 connector on there. And I believe the actual bike's probably an IC3. Hence they give you the conversion lead. Either that or I'm guessing you use this for charging because the charge is an IC3. Uh, but yeah, once again, smart technology, you get that with it as well. So that's absolutely everything you get in the box. I'll now move across to some detailed views on this particular bike. So the bike actually comes with a stand as well. So that's the stand that comes with the bike. As you can see, you place it down, the bike sits on there and it works perfectly. I'll demonstrate this for you guys. So this is what you use to launch your bike off with. You just open these ends, your back wheel sits in there. It's on the ground and it's ready for some action. I'm guessing this just gets left behind. And the nails, guys, the two nails go in here. I'll show you what they're for. So obviously, if you didn't nail this down, that's just gonna spin like so and get stuck or break something. So I'll show you what the nails are for. So this goes on grass. You open these bits up and you've got two holes there. As you can see, one there and one there. You nail them into the ground, which is your standoff ready to launch your bike. So that's that. Now the bits that we've all been waiting for. Guys, I've not seen this bike myself, so please bear with me whilst I'm going through this. I'm showing you this firsthand. So first thing first, other than how amazing it looks, you've got a proper rear sprocket and the detail on this is amazing so like i said some of you guys who have been following the channel for a while now probably know i'm a real life petrol head i love cars supercars motorbikes etc i actually used to have a kawasaki kx that looks similar to this um and i can assure you the sprocket looked very familiar like that it was a renful sprocket uh, and it looked exactly like that it's got licensed tires on there by dunlop spoked wheels and I believe these wheels do split 
Yeah, so if I turn this around on this side, it's actually got some bolts there and you can split the wheels to change the tires. So on the spares, you can either buy a whole set, so wheels and tires, or you can just buy the tire and replace the tire itself. Inside, you can see the hub, the black hubs in there, which I'm trying to point at inside. Um, they're actually changeable, so you can actually upgrade them to colored hubs. Disc brakes. Now this little monster has got real working front disc brake. So that's a huge disc on the front. You got a caliper which works through a cable believe it or not and the cable runs all the way across and i'm guessing it's linked to a servo and um, so it actually brakes like a proper motorbike which i think is really really cool and um, you got your lean bars on here now these lean bars are adjustable to what sort of amount you want it to lean etc i don't know how to do it like i said i've just unboxed this in front of you guys I'm quite intrigued. I'm gonna to have to have a sit down and read all the manuals um, before I take this for a rip. But I know they're adjustable. The man itself, I believe it splits in half. I'm not sure exactly how. Um, let me see if I can have a quick look. Okay, so he's got some pins through him. <laughs> not nails this time. Um, like I said, you can change all his clothes and jersey which is a real nice touch because the jersey itself is made out of proper like motocross jerseys, which is quite cool. Okay, so it has got basically a split pin on one end. So just how you have on your RC shells. Um, show you guys just there. And it's got a pin that runs through him, which is that. And I think he lifts off. There you go. Well, it's in a front plate. Look at that. This guy's awesome, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Wish we could do tricks like that. <laughs> but yeah, um, so the chap himself is made out of like a rubber material. It's quite soft, so I'm guessing you take a hell of a beating. This is a true Iron Man. Evil Knievel <laughs> in the making, number two. <laughs> um, I also believe this comes off but i don't know how i know it is separate um but yeah so i'll get him back on pop this pin back in he's got a belly button piercing i feel sorry for him already <laughs> he's gonna get tortured isn't he yeah Right, okay, so here we've got your uh, rear swing arm and it's a plastic swing arm. Now, as you've seen in the optional extras, you can actually buy a metal swing arm. They ain't cheap, I believe they're about 104 pounds, but you can replace that for a billet aluminium swing arm. I think that looks so cool. Um, and it's probably something on my list to do, to be fair, straight away. Because uh, I think that'll look awesome. Um, on the back here, the rear mud guard lifts up. And you all know why that is. This fender would have broken otherwise. Because this thing wheelies. Uh, believe it or not, it's a wheelie machine. And if the back touches the floor, so it doesn't flip, it's got some movement there, which is great. You've got your chain savers sitting here. It's just like a real motorbike. Over on this side, you've got your exhaust pipe. Look how realistic it looks. You've got your mud guard that saves your suspension under here. As you can see, just like on a real motorbike. And then you've got um, your connector. So looking at that connector, sorry, my bad. The bike is an IC5 connector. The conversion lead you get is for the charger because the charger is an IC3. The battery itself is on an IC5. So that lead itself is only used for charging. Um, yeah, so you've got your battery connector there. The battery, I'll be completely honest, I don't know how it goes in, but there is another split pin there. Let's pull that out. Let's see what it does. 
I should really read the manuals to be fair. Okay, so your battery sits in there under the seat and I'm guessing it just slides all the way in. That's a pretty neat touch, isn't it? Yeah, it's so cool. And I'm guessing that helps the weight distribution as well. And you just push it back up from the exhaust and I guess you just pop the split pin back in. The fact that Lossy have made something that stays on two wheels is insane. But then the fact that that thing wheelies... <laughs> That's just a different ball game altogether. It's ridiculous, together. isn't it? And I believe there are different modes in this. You can do tarmac mode. Um, there's dirt mode. And there's the wheelie mode. So argument's sake, if you have it on a certain mode, no matter how hard you try, it'll hold the front end down so it doesn't lift. Even if it gets a minor blip to go up, it'll hold it back down. And then you get the other mode where it won't hold it down and it'll stay up and stay lifted, which is pretty cool. In here, you've got your shock absorber. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it's just in here. So your rear suspension, all your motor bits are all in here and your flywheel's in there, which keeps it straight. The front suspension itself looks amazing. So much detail. You've actually got suspension guards on there and I'm intrigued to see if the suspension works and how good it actually is. Okay, it's not bad. I think it could benefit on the rebound a little, but that might be just to make it handle better. I don't know, I've not used it yet. The front suspension, oh wow, that's amazing. I'm guessing that takes the brunt of a the movement then. Look at the travel though. Yeah, it's insane. That's amazing. That's absolutely wicked. It's got a realistic front fender on there. The only thing that stops the realism on this vehicle would be if it was anything that Lossy have gone so far with this in terms of development, the only one thing they could have done to improve the development, and I know why they probably ain't done it, is the handlebars don't turn. So when you turn left, argument's sake, he's sitting straight, you go right, he's still sitting straight. It's no biggie. I can understand why they didn't do that because it would knock the bike off balance completely if that was all moving, the man would be moving, etc. But that's a small little grumble. It's got plastic yokes on here. Those of you who don't know what yokes are, it's this black piece that joins the shocks together. So you have an upper yoke and you have a lower yoke just there. Now they're replaceable as well for uh, aluminium ones, and you can get them in different range of colors as well. So this thing is completely customizable. Um, really chuffed with this one. And like I said, they're so hard to get at the minute. Um, some stores out there have got over 40, 50 pre-orders where customers have actually paid ready waiting. Um, and for some reason, guys, Malx models have these in stock and um, you guys ain't going to see them. So if you want one, links in the description. Guys, get to Malk's Models and um, pick one of these bad boys up. I don't know how you've missed this. They've literally got them on their website. They've got them in store. Don't miss it, guys. Honest to God, don't miss it whilst you can. Like I said, it's hard to get hold of these. I know they had a couple in store. So um, if you want to beat the rat race and be one of the first people with these here in the UK, Guys, jump on to, like I said, Malk's Models. Link's in the description and um, go check it out. Right, guys, the tyres itself are realistic, as you can see. Feel extremely nice, sponsored by Dunlop. There's not a lot more I can say other than we need to take this bad boy out. Guys, if you like our content and if you've enjoyed this video and the journey that we've done today, going to Malk's Models, showing you guys the model shop, showing you their range and what's actually available.
because a lot of people shop online now and um, there are true uh, people out there that have pure passion and love for the hobby and if you're in the Derbyshire Nottinghamshire area Ilkinston pop in to Mark's Models and go check them out uh, alternatively jump on their website and like I said if this is what you're interested in guys you can pick one up today right if you like our content please feel free to like share and subscribe don't forget to smash that notification button and we'll see you in the next one where we're going to be taking this bad boy out for a rip